Hello and welcome to another sunny day in Belgium. So today I'm going to test the latest software update which is 2019.36.2.1 and uh, yeah since I only have MCU1 that means I'm not getting any of the um, either the power increase because my car is uh, too old it's not a Raven car and also not the traffic cone recognition so uh, yeah I'm getting a limited set here um, but yeah the thing I'm most interested in of course with these tests is of course the autopilot so let's see how it fares in this version So first up, of course, is the Hillcrest. And I'm most interested in the part where it goes down again and we got the lane merge. Now for each and every update, I've been logging bug reports in the hope that uh, Tesla sees it and uh, will fix it. But let's see if that is the case in this update. So I'm not expecting anything peculiar at the top here. That's been going great for quite some time already. It's at the bottom here where the line marking is disappearing. And again, it's going slightly to the left. It's not a lot, but you are deviating from the track and yeah, it's just not necessary in this case. So still something that Tesla needs to fix. Okay, so this is the tricky one, the S-curve. And in the past couple of updates, the car actually slowed down before the curve but it was still hitting the center lane marking in the turn or near the end of the turn let's see if that has improved yes or no so here we go expecting a slowdown yep it's doing that all right it is turning it is staying in the middle get the impression that it's a bit slower yep here it is going to the center lane again I said I get the impression that it is a little bit slower than in the previous update, I should check it. And here again towards the center lane, so that could be a little bit better. So I'd say not really an improvement on this level. Now let me see if I can reproduce the bug I've been having for quite some time now. So that is when I just entered the highway, like here and I immediately activate, right? The car immediately wants me to go to another lane and it starts blinking. I'm like, I'm following the guy in front of me that it suggests a lane change is one thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is blinking, but it's not doing anything. And I would saying auto lane change unavailable. I have no reason why. Um, let's see if we can try that. Yep. The auto lane change is still working. So no idea what that didn't happen. Maybe because I wanted to go to the right and yeah, there's like the emergency lane where I shouldn't. Here again, it should point me to the right because I need to follow the route. So it's doing that okay. Now let's see about taking the exit, how smooth that is. So here we are coming up at the exit and it's not taking the exit at all oh it's taking the exit rather late okay that's funny in the upcoming road trip video you'll see that it actually will take multiple exits uh, in Germany. So you get one exit and then it needs to pre-sort and then it needs to take another pre-sort exit and it's doing that all by itself. Here it's not taking this particular exit even though it is still highway. Uh, but it's just a split highway on that level. So that is something that I was working at, at the beginning but Tesla took it away for one reason or another and I'd like to see that coming back. 
So another bug that I've been seeing quite frequently is, and it exhibits really dangerous behavior, is when I'm in the third lane and the truck is in the first lane and I want to move back to the second lane. So let me try to show you here. Then the truck suddenly comes into the side camera view. And at that point, the car thinks that it is in my lane. So together with the truck, I'm moving here. Oh, that seems to be better. That seems to have gotten better because the truck, as you can see on the dash, was actually displayed in my lane for a brief moment and then it just slammed me back into or jerked me back into my original lane that was the problem but that seems to be fixed now that would be good here we are coming up at that circular exit let's see if this update changes anything in the smoothness with which it can take this uh, exit so let's see will it take the exit automatically yeah, but it's later than it used to be. It's jerkier again. And that's what I saw with the earlier exit taking as well. So yeah, I get the auto still limited, still get that. And it is taking a little bit of uh, a jerky motion going to the right lane marking uh, at the end there, which it didn't do before. So each and every time there seem to be differences in the way things are handled. And that is, I believe, the result of working with AI that it learns one thing to do better and then uh, as a result of that it does another thing worse because it's not it's making the wrong decisions uh, because of prioritizing other information uh, that is beneficial in one situation but not so much in another but yeah it's uh, what we have to deal with and gradually all of those things will be resolved but there's still a very long way to go before we get to full self-drive. Up ahead we have the lane shift, as you know. And there might be a truck parked, so I'm going to accelerate through it as it thinks it's in the lane and would slow down. Hopefully we can get a green light. No, we're not, so I'm going to slow down as much as possible here. Okay, come on guy, go, go, all right, still slowing down a little bit so I can carry enough speed through it, here we go, accelerating 270 kilometers an hour, and yeah, that is still the same as what we had in the previous update. So that's been good for the past couple of updates and it is becoming more and more trustworthy as it is not too close to the curb. And now for the final test where it loses the lane markings. And of course the lane markings are also on the side of the road. Oh, it's taking the center of the road right now. Or what it thinks is the road. Wow, that's different. Okay, going to the side here, spotted that there's a wider road. No problem with oncoming traffic. Let's see here what it does. Yeah, it's okay. -ish. Is again going to the center of the road a little bit too much? Going back to the side. It's not um, trustworthy, definitely. Let's see what it does here. Um, but it is not too bad. I expected it to fail sooner already. But yeah, here, fine. Let's go all the way down to the minimum speed of autopilot. 
and see if it can take this one. Oh, nice. It does take it, but yeah, it's really uncomfortably close to the curb on the left side and on the right side. Um, it's because I tried this before that I know. Oh, 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 oh that's wrong. Oh, all right. <laughs> That is something that I didn't expect right at the end there. But again, autopilot is not yet meant for these kinds of roads and these conditions. So I'm okay with it uh, doing that behavior at this point in time. All right, conclusion time. So what can we say about this update? Well, I think in general, there is no change in this update with regards to autopilot. The changes that are in there is that even with the previous update, uh, I think the uh, 32.7, uh, the logging of uh, the system towards the uh, EMMC drives is uh, turned off and uh, when it's stationary and limited when it's driving. So that's to prevent the issue where the uh, uh, UMC just uh, fails and whole car fails. Um, but yeah, that's that's not autopilot related. Uh, what I do see here is that maybe I need to do some further testing to confirm for sure. But maybe the bug where a truck is in the first lane, you are in the third lane, and you want to move over, and then suddenly the uh, I think it is the side fender camera uh, sees the truck, and then it thinks it's in the second lane, and it jerks you back into the first lane or in, uh, into the third lane, sorry. Um, that was really dangerous. Right now, I was not able to reproduce it, but there were not that many trucks, and it only happens with trucks, it never happens with cars. So I will try that uh, during the week when I drive to work and back, then there are more than enough trucks on the road to uh, test that in several circumstances. It is easily, or at least it was, easily reproducible but you need a truck for that so yeah it's Sunday and not a lot of uh, traffic uh, going on right now but anyway other than that I'm not seeing anything really new except for maybe that last part where it chose to took to take the center of the, the street instead of uh, sticking to the side um, somehow we determined that it was just one wide lane instead of two narrower lanes and then, of course, at the end, it's the first time that I'm really doing that all the way up until the end. It shows the wrong side of the road to uh, yeah go to follow the, the lane markings. So that's definitely not good. But I cannot compare that to other updates that we've had previously. And as I said, Autopilot at this point is still not meant for those situations. So yeah, I'm, I'm testing to see how far it can go and what it can do in those situations. Uh, but I'm not judging anything yet on that level until Tesla says that it should be able to handle that So yeah, all in all not that much change for me personally Probably if you have the traffic cones on the display it also takes the traffic cones into account I'm hoping that uh, Didn't encounter any roadworks where I could actually test that but from what I've seen here in Belgium, we rarely have actual traffic cones. We do have these uh, higher poles with red and white markings on them. And even if there's a multitude of them guiding you into a different lane like this, it's still going to just drive straight on, straight into those signs. So yeah, I want to test that as well. Uh, maybe I'm not just I'm just not seeing the cones, but it's still taking that into account. I don't think so, because otherwise it would not be a problem to display them. And the cones are hardware tree only. Now, that begs another question. Is Tesla now obligated to upgrade my car with the full self-drive computer? Because right now I've paid for full self-drive and I am missing out on features that are specific for that hardware. Elon always said that well, if there were new full self-drive features that would require that hardware, then they would do the upgrade, which is for me right now. So I uh, emailed the service center also 
my guess is that they won't be able to upgrade yet uh, because there's a huge backlog on those uh, computers probably uh, but then again that begs the question I did pay for the update so why don't I get the update uh, right now when it is actually providing additional value so we'll see I'll keep you posted on the progress of that as well and as usual if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe using the button down there and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye